So here we have the Ford Focus on a 13 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, the fuel gauge and cooling temperature gauges. And above that, the main trip computer, which includes the total mass of the car. They are 85,022. You can change the information displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer. Uh, information. Uh, if we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons in question are just here. We have cruise control and speed limiter over that side as well, and then stereo and phone controls on the right hand side. In order that you use the phone controls, you need to pair the phone up first, which is done by hitting the phone button uh, and then following the instructions up on screen here. Uh, we are not going to pair a phone at the moment, of course. Uh, you can also uh, access, of course, your music in this car. So we've got the radio, you can see there we have FM. DAB, we've got AM as well. Every push of the radio button will take you round a different wave band. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do so via the CD player. Uh, this car also has the ability to uh, connect various other devices. So you can uh, stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio, which you can see on the screen just there. We have auxiliary input as well, and the USB input. All of those are accessed with these buttons just here, and the main volume for the stereo can also be found on there as well. Below that, we have our dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed and determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so you can turn it off and back on from there. All hit auto, the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you. Uh, you can, at any time you wish to, override that, put it back in your own settings. We have a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off when that light shows. We can turn our parking sensors on and off. And this car has autonomous parking as well. So uh, follow the instructions on screen uh, and this car is able to park itself. Uh, it will take control of the steering essentially for you. And then lastly, we have a six speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbourne's. We'd love to hear from you soon.